All right, guys. 3X Lex, Triple X, back at it with another one. Let's do it. All right. I'm back here today to take a further look at Extreme Gaming Cabinets. Now, on a previous video, I didn't really get a chance to, um, I didn't really go in depth, so to say, into a lot of the products, other products this company has, such as the pinball machine, um, the uh, control deck that they have, that fight stick that has a um, built-in hyperspin setup. Um, they have a racing cab. They have a lot of products that I didn't get a chance to really get into. So I want to give them a fair shake and talk about some of the other products this company has. Now, as I mentioned before, this is an Australian based company. Um, and based on what I could see, they seem to be building extremely high quality uh, arcade cabinets and um virtual pinball machines now as i mentioned before the build quality seems to be top notch uh i'm not entirely familiar with their software there's been a lot of controversy recently i've been hearing about whether they use shark cage drives or not i don't know if that's any of that's true or not so i'm not gonna go on record to say that's what it is but there seems to be a lot of people making that claim but uh i want to talk a little bit more about the virtual pinball so the virtual pinball machine is really badass that they get and i definitely want to highlight that on my channel uh there's a youtuber d dot that has this particular virtual pinball machine he has the high-end model i believe and uh is very 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 impressive so i've been extremely impressed with this pinball machine that they have um he pretty much has it like with all the options if i'm not mistaken and uh he also owns a ton of regular mechanical pinball machines and he's shown a lot of back-to-back -back videos showing how close in quality the virtual is to the mechanical machine. And, um, hey, I'm impressed with their machines, you know. They come with a 43-inch 4K monitor. Uh, they're extremely well made. And they seem to be the real deal, you know. I've seen two or three people so far with these machines and um they've had nothing but praise um it's just a fantastic uh machine from what i can see and it's very impressive from the shaker motors to uh the display to the back box the lights everything it just really comes together with a to con it comes together to complete a fantastic package so I want to go on record definitely and say they pinball machines are top notch for sure. So definitely uh, check them out pinball machine wise because they seem very impressive. Uh, also, I want to mention that they have a mini virtual pinball machine too. And this one is going to start about six grand US if I'm not mistaken. And um, I believe this is with a 32 inch monitor. And um, it's, it's impressive, you know. I'm sure it pretty much offers the same performance and uh, same bells and whistles and experience as the larger model, just in a smaller package. So if you have a smaller area and you can't fit a 43-inch cabinet, I mean, this 32-inch cabinet is, is definitely an option. Um, <laughs> again, it's definitely not cheap. In my personal opinion, based on what the mini cost, if it were me, I would definitely go with the um, full size. You know, uh, based on what I see, I would definitely go with the full size. I mean, there's definitely um, a price difference there. I mean, the mini starts about 39 and, um, you know, the standard VP starts, um, seems to be about 42, but
But when you get to adding on the bells and whistles and you want to go with the premium model, I mean, the actual price gap shrinks and you're looking at maybe a good, it seems to be twelve or $1,300 difference. So, I mean, likely if you got space for the 32, you probably have space for the 43. So it would definitely be my choice. Again, uh, based on what I've seen, they definitely seem to have one of the best virtual pinball machines in the world right now. Uh, this one and the other one from Rec Room seems to be the ones right now. You know, I'm going to be on the lookout and I'm open to other comments below if, if you've seen some other top performing machines. But these two seem to be the top ones so far. And again, overall, I'm impressed with what I see. Now, moving along to their sit down arcades uh they have some sit down cocktail style cabinets and uh from what i can see i'm very impressed you know i like the style of them the build quality seems to be excellent again i'm not entirely familiar with the software that they're running and it whether or not their hyperspin bill has any issues or not as i haven't heard much feedback or really any reviews on their arcade machines but i'm really impressed with the design of this it looks pretty cool um also i wanted to show some of their standard four player cabinets they have some nice artwork you know, I really like this Dark Knight cabinet here. It looks pretty badass. Uh, my understanding is they build this boss machine in a 32 inch or a 50 inch. And um, it varies in price. So I believe this is what the standard machine starts around. And from there, it goes up in price depending on the make, the model, and what specifications you want. So, as I talked about in um, my previous um, Extreme Gaming Cabs um, video, I believe the Boss Machine 50 inch starts about 4000 And uh, it seems to be a well-built machine. It's been a lot of talk. So I'm anxious to see when some users get it and offer some feedback. But I like the design. The design looks great, you know. Again, shipping, you know, the shipping price I was quoted, and I'm in America, uh, was about 1500 You know, I'm thinking... The pinball will probably be around the same price to ship, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. So you kind of save money on the front end because our dollars worth more, but the shipping is probably about triple what you normally pay uh, for a US based company. So there's kind of some trade offs. Whether or not it's a good deal or not, I don't know. If, it, if it's a really well made machine, it potentially could be. I also wanted to show off this Ultra Deck Premium um, Arcade Fight Stick. Uh, this is the 8 terabyte edition. Uh, this is a plug and play. Uh, pricing for this looks really nice. Uh, for what you get, it's a four player stick. It has a dedicated four way a trackball. And, um, and I imagine the shipping for this will probably be a lot, lot, lot less than um, the arcade machine. So this will be something to look into if you're just looking to build a pedestal or just do a pedestal style television with like just an arcade controller with the hypersmith setup this will be something to look into the price doesn't seem too bad and uh, again like it seems to be extremely well made and the quality seems to be top notch um also, they had some other things that uh, I wanted to show off. And um, let me do a quick move to YouTube right quick. And um, all right. 
Okay. Now, I was cruising their particular um, page on YouTube the other day, and I couldn't help but notice this extreme racing sim. This thing looks really cool, you know. I'm not gonna even lie, and it attaches to the cab. This looks pretty badass. Um, I think this has a lot of potential. So far, I haven't seen a lot of um, really well made home racer style setups but this hooked up to a 50 inch display playing something like daytona hey man i would be all for that you know if it turns out to be really high quality i think this thing could really be a, a winner this could be a real winner uh this extreme racing cab setup is top notch i like what i see design wise so so far so good with that and um, I just wanted to show that off, too, before I got out of here. But uh, they got some extremely nice things they seem to be working on. You know, I'll say this. Judging by what I'm seeing from this company, I want to speak a little transparent, transparently about this company. Based on what I'm seeing from this company, they seem extremely focused and extremely dedicated uh, to wanting to really corner the market and take over as the premier arcade home builder. That's the attitude and vibe that I'm getting from this company. Like, I'll be honest with you. Uh, they seem to be really going after all aspects and areas of home arcades. And uh, they seem really focused and dedicated. I mean, they're constantly updating their... Um, youtube page they're constantly updating their facebook page they're engaging with the community and uh i mean they, they seem to be leaving comments at a lot of different pages uh they, they're taking the feedback they seem very focused they seem posed to want to take over the uh, home arcade scene can they i don't know about that there's a lot of competition out there i'm not sure uh, they seem to be doing extremely well. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of chatter about a lot of people ordering things. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see the direction this company continues to go and the feedback from the customers. Because uh, so far, uh, I'm liking what I see for the most part. And again, they seem very, very focused. And I like that. So that's my opinion on extreme gaming cabinets my full opinion and hey 3x lex out and i get with you on the next one peace